This American fighter, like no other, is associated with fights without rules. It was then that the UFC tournaments were called, from which puncher David Lee Abbott, better known as Tank Abbott, began his career in mixed martial arts. He described his style as street fight, which is common in bars and on the streets. Abbott doesn't have the greatest record in the UFC, eight wins and 10 losses, but he's a real legend of the promotion. The man who made people watch fights without rules in the 90s. Tank Abbott not only fought spectacularly, but also said only what he thought. He spoke rudely, and this attracted fans and organizers of tournaments. Let's remember his spectacular fights in the UFC and enjoy his powerful knockouts. David Abbott started wrestling at the age of nine and continued to train during his school days. He was considered a good freestyle wrestler and even won some tournaments in his youth during his college days. Abbott has always had remarkable physical strength. In his youth, his chest press was about 600 pounds. But there's another factor that distinguishes David from many other athletes. He fought on the street more than 200 times and this experience played a significant role during his performances in the octagon. In college, he was also a wrestler, was a member of the U.S. Junior Athletic League, and was elected to All-American. And in his student years, he boxed with trainer Noe Cruz, who also trained world boxing champion Carlos Palomino. David tried to break into the UFC more than once. Even after the UFC 3 tournament, he applied for participation, inspired by the performance of Kimo Leopoldo. But at that time, the Gracie family had their influence on the selection of fighters and were against participants with amateur wrestling experience. After Hoist Gracie left the UFC, Abbott's future manager, Dave Thomas, agreed with the UFC management and said that he knocked out four in the last fight. The organizers compared him to the character of Clint Eastwood and nicknamed him Tank Abbott. David made his debut in the UFC very bright and memorable. This happened on July 14, 1995 at the UFC 6 tournament in Casper, USA. In a pre-tournament interview, the American fighter immediately showed his daring character and rudely ridiculed mixed martial arts. With this, he intrigued the audience and showed how fights should be promoted. My name's Tank Abbott. I'm going to be the most athletic person that's ever stepped into the octagon. That coupled with my experience definitely make me the UFC 6 champ. In December 1996, Tank Abbott again reached the final at UFC 11.5 tournament. His first opponent was a former U.S. Marine and high-ranking black belt in Taekwondo, Cal Warsham. His record of mixed martial arts at that time was one and one. Warsham started first with a tight right cross, after which Abbott went forward on the opponent. On the way out, Cal landed a good right hook and put his knee in the stomach of Tank. David had a takedown and turned on his powerful ground and pound. Until the end of the fight, Abbott dominated the ground and Worsham gave up from blows in the third minute of the fight. After the fight, there was a conflict when Worsham suddenly tried to attack David as he kept hitting him until the referee stopped the fight. Cal Worsham no longer competed in the UFC and ended his MMA career in 2012 with a 13 and 10 record. In the semifinals against Tank Abbott, American mixed martial arts fighter Steve Nelmar, nicknamed Sandman, came out. He was running a 2 and 0 record in MMA and wanted to keep his losing record at zero. This fight lasted a little over a minute and ended even more brutally than the last. David immediately occupied the center of the ring and met the opponent with a power jab. The fighters grappled in the clinch and Tank delivered several powerful blows to the body and Nelmark answered with a knee strike. Then immediately, a beautiful throw from Abbott, after which Steve tried to hold the guillotine. Tank breaks out and unleashes a fury of strong hooks on the opponent, adding an uppercut, shakes Steve, then pins him near the net and finishes him with a series of heavy hooks. So much so that Nelmark falls on the net after the knockout and bends his neck in a dangerous position. Tank simply ran over his opponent and made it to the final. Sandman ended his professional career after this fight. And in the final of the tournament, David again lost by a choke, and not to anyone but the legendary Don Fry. 
UFC 11.5 was the last UFC event that Abbott took part in, as the UFC began to phase out of the tournament format around the same time. Abbott's stats have taken a turn for the worse, with the arrival of more trained mixed martial artists such as Vitor Belfort and Pedro Hizzo. In May 1998, Tank Abbott fought in the octagon cage at UFC 17 against Brazilian Luta Livre fighter Hugo Duarte, who was known for his valiant fights against Hicks and Gracie and was undefeated in MMA with a 5-0 record. Before the fight, he criticized Abbott's fighting skills and was confident that he would easily pass the American puncher. After the gong, Duarte immediately made a pass to the legs and after a short struggle in the stance, carried out a takedown. David rolled over and gave back and Hugo tried to choke and then go to the armbar. Tank was able to get out from under the Brazilian and took his back. He brought down a hail of powerful blows from behind the opponent's head, and Big John McCarthy had no choice but to stop this beating at 43 seconds of the fight. Hugo Duarte received his first defeat, and after that, he only had three MMA fights and only won one. After this fight, Tank Abbott had a black streak in his career, already four defeats in a row after which David was fired from the UFC. The last fight was Hawaiian fighter Wesley Carrera, nicknamed Cabbage, whom Tank lost by a doctor stoppage at UFC 45. And in May 2005, a rematch between these fighters took place at the Rumble on the Rock tournament in Hawaii. Wesley Carrera owned a brown belt in judo and had already managed to fight four times since the first meeting with Abbott. He won only one. Tank has not been active all this time and has not had a single MMA fight for a year and a half. The fight started with jabs from David and Carrera landed a decent left hook. The Hawaiian threw rare low kicks and tried to land with left hooks. Abbott threw combinations of jabs and crosses. And in the second minute, Cabbage misses a powerful right hook by the ear and falls. Tank pierces another one, while Wesley sits and then finishes off the already prone opponent with powerful punches. In the second minute, the referee stops the fight, and Tank Abbott wins the rematch. It was Carrera's first knockout loss. In February 2009, Tank Abbott fought American fighter Mike Bork at the War Gods Ken Shamrock Production Tournament. Bork has had a hard time in his career lately and has only won once in his last nine fights. And with the tank, the battle didn't even last half a minute. Immediately in the first seconds, the fighters grappled in the clinch. Abbott pinned his opponent to the net and after a brief struggle in the clinch, landed a devastating right hook at the back of the head of Mike Bork. He fell into a heavy knockout and David's finishing blow was already superfluous. At 29 seconds, Tank Abbott was awarded another victory by knockout. Mike Bork had six more fights and won only two. Among them was a victory over the legendary Ken Shamrock. <laughs> Abbott returned to the octagon only four years later, had another fight and lost. Then he hung up his gloves. Such was the career of one of the pioneers of mixed martial arts, David Tank Abbott. It's noteworthy that this guy has never been a supporter of a healthy lifestyle and didn't go through full-fledged sports camps like many of his opponents. However, this didn't stop him from writing his name in the history of MMA. An interesting fact is that Abbott is the first fighter to compete in the then-traditional MMA gloves in the UFC. Tank never took the UFC belt, but he was and is the people's champion. If you enjoyed this video clip, please put the like, leave your comments, and press the bell to avoid missing the next video. And if you watch this video clip without a subscription, sign up for the channel right now. See you in the new video.